Chelsea owner Roman Abramovich has been at the heart of discussions in the House of Commons as the British government start to place sanctions on Russia. It turns out the Chelsea owner is an intimate friend of Vladimir Putin of Russia and no one is happy about it. Tensions have escalated rapidly following Vladimir Putin's decision to sign a decree recognizing two cities as breakaway states in eastern Ukraine earlier this week. That was followed by Russian troops and tanks moving into the region in what Putin called the peacekeeping mission. So much for that. Little was known about Abramovich when he bought Chelsea in a deal worth around $150 million in the summer of 2003. At the time, his other business interests included being a major shareholder in Russian oil. Abramovich said, We are delighted to agree to this deal to acquire what is already one of the top clubs in Europe. We have the resources and ambition to achieve even more, given the huge potential of this great club. Abramovich's relationship with Putin was established prior to the ascension of the role as president. In 2012, a high court judge stated that the Chelsea owner had privileged access to the leader, as well as very good relations. This is not the first time Abramovich's association with Putin and his role at Stanford Bridge have caused controversy. On Tuesday, Prime Minister Boris Johnson went back on his claims that Roman Abramovich was already facing sanctions. The truth is, as it stands, Abramovich is not being sanctioned by the government, but three allies of Putin and five Russian banks will be. However, he needs to be careful how he proceeds. Innocent people are dying and his intimate friend is the cause of it all. The conflict is affecting the boss man's personal and professional life as well. Roman Abramovich's daughter Sofia, for example, shared an anti-Vladimir Putin message on Instagram following the Russian invasion of Ukraine. The sporting world has widely united in condemnation of the attack, which prompted UEFA, FIFA, Formula One, among others, to abandon major upcoming events in Russia. The world is not in a good place, and that is evident. Now fans of football have to wait and see how the conflict unfolds. Beyond the game, the hope is for the sake of human life. The hope is that this is resolved before more innocent lives are lost. The world is torn in two. You are either for Russia or against Russia. No in between. Seems like the close relationship of the Chelsea owner is not going to benefit the club or the fans. Severe sanctions are going to continue to come and Abramovich is going to have to abide by those despite the relationship with Putin. What do you think of the current situation in Ukraine and the fact that Chelsea's owner is intimate friends with Vladimir Putin? Let us know in the comments. And in the meantime, don't forget to like and subscribe.